Hello everyone, Spuffles here. It's been quite a while since I've done a vlog like this. I wanted to do a video today talking about my first time in the hospital. Now, as you may know, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease around five years ago. It is an inflammatory bowel disease. It is classified as an autoimmune disease, which basically means that my immune system attacks itself and there are periods of remission where you're feeling better and periods of active disease where you're really not feeling too great, the disease is doing a lot of damage to your body, and you're just generally very, very sick. Now, after I got diagnosed, I was on some very mild medication. This was around a few years ago when I first had my colonoscopy and my gastroenterologist gave me the diagnosis of Crohn's disease. I had been doing pretty well. I was not on steroid medication until recently. There are different kinds of treatments for Crohn's disease. Now, currently, I am taking budesonide for Crohn's disease, which is a steroid drug which actively lowers my immune system so it doesn't attack my body. I was first given this medication after my stay in the hospital. My stay was two and a half days and it was pretty miserable, I am not gonna lie. Now me personally, I get really into my editing work and into cosplaying. I always like doing something to keep myself busy. Last year, I think I pushed myself a little bit too hard, which is why I ended up in the hospital. I was just going to so many cosplay events. I was working on so many photo shoots, editing so many things. I overworked myself to the point of exhaustion, which led to my disease progressing and getting really bad. Now, I did not want to go to the hospital. I was just telling myself, you know, I'm going to work through this pain. I'm going to eventually feel better. However, my symptoms kept on getting worse and worse. I was having temperatures of over 103 degrees. My heart rate was super high. I had night sweats and chills, and it was really hard for me to get to sleep. I just felt super nauseous all of the time, and it was just an all-around horrible experience. Now, my symptoms had gotten to the point where they had been making me feel miserable for weeks upon weeks, and I was really stubborn, and I thought that the flare was going to go away because sometimes it does go away by itself, at least in my case. However, this time it did not go away and I ended up going to the ER because I wasn't sure if I was going to make it through to the night and my doctor was not in town so I was unable to really see my normal doctor. So I told myself, you know what, we're going to go to the ER, we're going to get checked out and we're going to see what's wrong. However, that was a really bad decision because while they did stabilize me, they weren't able to find what was wrong despite me telling them that I have Crohn's disease and that this was similar to previous instances of Crohn's disease flare-ups that I've had in the past. When I went to the ER, first they checked my pulse rate, which was over 140 beats per minute. My temperature was over 103.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I did not have an appetite, so I didn't really eat that much that day. I was severely dehydrated, and all around, I was just in a lot of pain and super miserable. They decided to admit me to the hospital. After being admitted to the hospital, they gave me an emergency CT scan, and then they gave me some antibiotic medication. They put me through a whole bunch of other tests just to rule out everything, but the whole process was really frustrating for me, honestly. I talked to maybe a dozen doctors in the two and a half days that I was there, and just explaining my story over and over again to so many doctors who weren't really listening to me was just really, really frustrating because all of the other tests that they were having me do kept on coming back negative. I wasn't able to eat because I was hooked up to an IV and I was on a liquid diet. I had to go to the bathroom in like uh, this little hat, they call it, and then they collect your bathroom samples and they run them through a number of tests but everything kept on coming back negative. And despite me telling them, hey, I have Crohn's disease and this is similar to flare-ups that I've had in the past, 
The gastroenterologists that work at the hospital weren't really listening to me and they didn't want to put me on steroid medication, which is what I'm on right now. And it was just an all-around really bad experience for me. It felt like I wasn't being listened to. And if anyone out there also has a chronic illness, I feel like you understand that sometimes when you talk to the doctors, they don't always pay attention to what you're saying because they have preconceived notions. Now, if any of you out there have any autoimmune diseases or chronic illnesses, I'm sure that you've also felt this in the past, where you have something going on with your body and you try and explain it to a doctor, and they don't really listen because they have all these preconceived notions of what you should or shouldn't be feeling, and if you don't fit their criteria to a T, then they're going to say nothing's wrong with you and to take a Tylenol. Honestly, the strongest medication that they gave me in the hospital the two and a half days that I was there was Tylenol, which did not help my pain. Tylenol does not put Crohn's disease in remission. And honestly, if they were just going to give Tylenol, I could have stayed at home and I could have taken it by myself. I just feel like I wasted two and a half days of my life because I was trying to tell them like, hey, I have Crohn's disease, this is really similar to what I've experienced in the past, but they were just like, we're not sure, honey, we're not sure if it's Crohn's disease or if it's something else, even though all of these other tests that we're doing, these blood tests, these stool tests, these urine tests and everything, all of that was negative, they just didn't think it was Crohn's disease, even though every single night I kept on getting the same kind of flare-up, I would get abdominal pain, and then I would also get a really high temperature of over 103 degrees Fahrenheit, and it happened every single night, which is when my disease usually impacts me the most, and it just felt like I wasn't being listened to, and it was very, very frustrating, and as someone with a chronic illness, I am really worried about my existence in this country because I'm not sure if every single doctor is on my side or not because it honestly feels like you have to fight every single way to get a diagnosis and then get the proper treatment and it was just an all-around miserable time. Now after I was discharged I ended up getting a fever again that night because they discharged me during the daytime which is when my symptoms were at its lowest I didn't have as much pain during the daytime, and my temperature was under 100 degrees. However, as soon as I got home and it got darker out, my temperature skyrocketed back up and I had pain again. However, I did find a gastroenterologist in town that had some openings. My current doctor was on vacation, which is what led to me being in the hospital in the first place since I was unable to contact him. However, the new doctor gave me budesonide, which is a drug that actively lowers your immune system. And in the case of Crohn's disease, that means my immune system is not attacking itself, which is what gives me all of these symptoms. So after I took the steroid medication, I finally got back to remission after weeks upon weeks of feeling super miserable. However, that is not a long-term solution for Crohn's. I might have to go on biologic medication, some infusions that you either inject yourself or you have to go to the hospital to take. And I'm really scared about what's going to happen. However, I felt so much better after finally taking the medication that I should have been prescribed in the first place. I ended up achieving remission. However, it was short-lived because I ended up moving back in March. And the stress of moving on top of everything going on in the world right now, it made me flare up again. And I'm very sorry to say that I'm currently going through a pretty bad Crohn's flare because of my current living situation, as well as just everything in general going on right now. It has been a very stressful past few weeks few months and honestly I'm not sure what's going to happen with my health. I'm hanging in there. I'm doing my best to keep my mind on work. Video editing, photo editing, I'm doing some streaming now. I'm just trying to keep as busy as possible so I can keep my mind off of things and I just want to 
do my best and yeah it's just really really hard and I'm very happy that my doctor my gastroenterologist who I see in New Jersey takes my pain seriously he gave me the steroid medication it's really hard especially in America to be a chronically ill person you go through so many doctors who don't take your pain seriously and who don't listen to you. It's really hard to find a doctor that truly listens and that tries their best to help you with your pain and doesn't give you Tylenol when you're in the hospital for two and a half days with a horrible Crohn's flare. But it's just been such a bad year for me. But I'm hanging in there and I really hope that you guys are too. I just wanted to make this video in the hopes that I could reach out to someone else who might be going through something similar. I wanted to just talk with you guys about what's going on in my life, to give you an update, and just to let you know that I am trying my absolute best every single day. This year has been kicking my butt, but I'm going to hang in there and I'm going to claw my way to 2021. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any suggestions for future vlogs because I would absolutely love to do more videos like this. Please let me know in the comments section down below. As always, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye everyone.